hi guys and welcome back to my channel or hi hello if you are new here thank you for joining me for today's home bargains haul i have just got back from going there and i had a lot of fun picking up all of these bits to show you i've got like food bits home bits cleaning bits bath stuff a whole range of things to show you really excited to get started so if you'd like to see everything that i picked up from home bargains then just keep on watching if you can hear any chatting in the background just ignore that ollie's on a conference call in the other room just over there so you might be able to hear a little bit of him talking but anyway let's get on with this haul so the first thing that i got was this comfort fabric conditioner i needed a new one they had so many in there i ended up going for this one because it said sunshiny days and i thought that sounds good like for this time of year like i wanted to get something to like go with the time of year so even though it doesn't feel very sunshiny today is like the windiest day ever oh it smells good oh it smells so good just like clean and fresh and oh I love that smell. When you put your clean clothes on, they smell that. Or your bedding. It's just like the best feeling ever, isn't clean sheets? Just the best thing ever. So let me tell you how much this was and how much you get in there. So it's 1.16 litres. So it's quite a big bottle. And it was £1.99. So that's a pretty good price, isn't it? 33 washes in there. Okay, next I got this, which is called the Tough Buster fab fresh fabric like spray on refreshener basically this looks exactly like the febreze one doesn't it but it is a much bigger bottle and it was a lot cheaper i think this was 99p yeah 99p for one liter whereas the febreze one is a lot more expensive i think you get like half the amount of that and it's maybe double the price so i was quite interested to see if this one would be any good and it is rose and peony i love peony at the minute anything with that and i just have to buy it oh that is really nice too that's actually my favorite scent of any one of these i've ever tried because it smells really clean but it also has like that peony scent to it oh i'm gonna give this a go a bit later on i hope it works better actually it does say that um it gets rid of everyday odors like tobacco pets alcohol and cooking so yeah basically you like the febreze one okay next this is something that i'm hoping one of you's actually tried and if you have please leave me a comment down below because i've never seen this before but it is called a dry wash spray so it's basically like you would have for your hair like a dry shampoo like in between washes this is for your clothes so say you've like say this jumper like i've worn it once today but it doesn't really need a wash because i haven't really done anything in it but then tomorrow i feel like i don't want to put it back on again so you would use something like this to just spray over it it says you just lay the garment flat on on top of bedding and then you spray evenly you smooth out any creases and you hang 15 minutes and it's kind of like rewashed again but the interesting thing with this was it was really really cheap and affordable it was only one pound 49 and normally these are seven pounds so really really big saving on it and yeah i'm just really interested to know what you think of it because it does say on the back as well it shows you like how much water you've saved so it's supposed to be good for the environment maybe i'll just give it a spray and see what it smells like but it looks liquidy God knows what's going to happen, but I'm going to spray it on me and see what happens. Oh, it's okay. So it's all like a really wet spray. Oh, why does this smell? Everything smells so good today. Oh, spray that in the lid and smell it. That, that smells like, you know, the Aussie shampoo and conditioner scent. It smells exactly like that. Oh, that's a really good idea because then when you put your clothes on they just always feel fresh so yeah please let me know if you've tried this before okay next i picked up this which i couldn't really tell exactly what it was to start with but i wanted to try after reading it i realized what it was so it's a chamois like what you would use to wash your car and polish it but it's for sensitive skin so my skin i can get like quite a lot of breakouts quite regularly and i find that if i use a flannel or a cloth that's too abrasive that does cause me a breakout because i don't i like to just chemically exfoliate rather than use anything too much on my skin so this is for sensitive skin and it is like a chamois cloth really that you'd use on the car i mean maybe i could just use the car one for this but 
I like this one because it was pink. I'm going to open it up. It is a branded item as far as I know because it was slightly discounted. There wasn't much money off it. Oh, here it is. Looks a bit bright on camera, but it is like your sort of baby pink colour. So it feels slightly damp. I think that's how they're supposed to be stored. Like it's the um, preservative in it, isn't it? Then you just wash that off. It doesn't smell of anything. This is basically what it looks like. It is just a really soft, piece of chamois and yeah you're supposed to just be able to cleanse your face with it I don't know if um I've managed to just rip it right open where the instructions are so that was clever wasn't it let me see if I can figure it out ultra soft cleansing cloth removes all traces of makeup leaves your skin soft and clean and then it says some other stuff which I can't read um these harden uh when they're dry and they remain their full softness when in warm water at 40 degrees. So they will go hard. Oh, I'm excited to use this. Really looking forward to trying that out on my skin just to see if it's a little bit more softer for my skin. That was about £2.50. Okay, moving on, I have some snacks. I've tried these before. Wherever I see them, I always pick them up. They are so good. They're very sweet and they're probably very bad for you, but they really are nice. Um, they're the Dole Soul Black Cheesecake with cream cheese and blueberries. So basically the coating on them is cream cheese. Inside is like a bit of kind of cream and then you have like a blueberry flavor as well. And they're really nice. They come individually wrapped. You get five in a pack, it's 99p. And this is what they look like inside. So you can see they've just got little bits on top there, on top of the cream cheese frosting. Um, the cake in them is really soft, that lovely soft sponge. Um, and they're just so nice. I really recommend them. So next I have these baklavas, baklava. I, I, maybe I'm saying that right, I'm not sure. Um, but they're kind of that Greek um, dessert, aren't they? It's like the layered up pastry, like really sweet. I really love them. Um, so I picked up this packet of them here. There's all different ones in here. It says they are handmade. Um, they're a classic range. Now I don't really like nuts or like too many nuts. So I'm going to try and choose one. I mean, they usually all ha do have some sort of nut in them, but I'm going to try and find one that doesn't have too many. Um, or like crushed nuts are okay. Look at those. Okay. I'm going to try the, fr my mouth's watering. I'm going to try the fruity one because I think that has less nut in it. So this is what my little cube of baklava looks like. So you've got the fruit on the inside. I'm just going to shove this all in. Mm. Oh, it's like chewy, but crunchy. Sweet, very sweet. It tastes really good. Let me just finish this mouthful. They're never as nice as when I get them on holiday. I love to always get these when I'm away on holiday. They're never like as nice, but those are really good. And I think for like £1.50 for all of them is a really good price. And they're just a nice little small snack just to have when you're craving something sweet. So if you do like them, they had quite a range there as well to have a look at. Okay, next I have this West Lab uh, Cleansing Himalayan Bath Salt. So I love uh, bath salts in my bath because it's really, really good for your skin. I do suffer with like dry, sensitive skin on my body. So anything like this really helps. And with it being Himalayan pink salt, it's cleansing as well. So even when you're just laying in the bath, it is kind of exfoliating, taking any dead skin off and soaking into your skin is really good for you. Um, so yeah, I always have a bag of these on the go. These, the West Lab ones are vegan and cruelty free as well. And this is one kilogram for £1.99. So good price as well. I'm just going to open it because I want to see if um, there's any scent to this one. Because I haven't tried it before. No, so it is scent free, which like is quite good, especially if you've got sensitive skin. But you can just see it in there. Um, it is just like a very light pink colour and you can see like the Himalayan salt in there as well. It's all 100% natural, everything like that. So if you do have sensitive skin and you want to put something in your bath, like this will be good for you. So sticking with talking about baths, um, I found this bath bomb. I have not seen these in there before. These are, it says they're handmade, they're by bio2u or bio-u i'm not quite sure coffee flavored or scented obviously don't eat these i didn't see any other scent there like i probably wouldn't normally go for a coffee one to be honest but that's all they had and i really wanted to try it out 
and um, the little ball looks like this so it is like coffee colored it looks like it even has bits of coffee in it so i think it's going to turn the bath brown oh it smells nice it smells like a creamy coffee with like sheer butter or something in it or like cocoa butter that's what it smells like yeah it does smell really nice this was only 79p and i do think for a bath bomb especially if it is handmade that is a really good price and i love the look of the packaging on it as well it does look quite handmade and like rustic as well so yeah i really like that one okay next this caught my eye from like far away i was like one side of the shop and then I could just see down the other end of the shop and my eyes like zoomed in on this and I was like, what is that? So I went over and had a look because I haven't seen a Fabulosa pack before. So I was very excited to see it. It is called the Raz, how am I gonna say this? Raz Villa cleaning kit, which I don't know if that means it's raspberry and vanilla, which just reminds me of raspberry ripple ice cream. But they, it is a collaboration with Minky. So you get a Minky cloth in here, you get the multi-purpose polish, you get antibacterial cleaner, you get multi-purpose cleaner and then your cloth. So I'm gonna open it up and see what it smells like. But I thought like a whole kit like this, really, really nice. Um, and it's all pink, which I love. And uh, let me tell you how much this was. This was £4.49, which I don't think is too bad because I'm pretty sure a Minky is normally about two pounds something, isn't it? So this is the minky you get with it. So you have like the rough, like exfoliating cleaning side on that side. And then you have the more like buffing cloth on that side. Then you have this little mini spray here, which is one of the, like, you know, the antibacterial sprays. These are really good because you can use them on your hands, clean your hands. But also I do take these around with me. And like when I go into a toilet or something and it's a bit like, I just give the seat a little spritz and wipe it with a bit of tissue with this and it just makes me feel like a bit cleaner. <laughs> it's a bit OCD, but you know, sometimes you go in a public toilet and you're like, I don't want to sit on that toilet and then you sort of hover and then that's too much information. But anyway, that's what I use these for and also my hands. Oh, it smells good. It smells like raspberry ripple ice cream. It does, that, that smells really, really nice. So then this is like their regular bottle. I always use these ones. I actually have one downstairs at the moment I'm using, but not in this scent. So again, this is like, I think it must be a new scent for them. But it does smell really nice. Like, yeah, just your raspberry scent. And I don't think I've ever actually used a Fabulosa multi-surface polish before. So this will be a new one for me to use. Uh, it says it's wood, glass, metal, plastic. Um, so yeah, you can pretty much use it on everything. And it also says it has carnauba wax in it. I don't know what that is, but I'm guessing it's a good thing for like polishing with. So I feel like all of this and the cloth for £4.49 is so good. Okay, next up, I have a big bottle of Zoflora. I'm not sure if this is old packaging or if they've made new packaging because this looks old fashion style, but I think possibly it could be new. I went for the shade, um, for the shade, I went for the scent springtime, uh, obviously because it's spring and I wanted it to be like a springy smell. So I really want to smell this. Oh, that's nice. That smells clean it's quite strong clean almost a little bit like baby powder as well and like a little bit floral but like more on your like grassy floral smell if you know what i mean like your your fresh floral minty do you know what i mean i'm really bad at describing stuff but this was 300 is this no sorry this is 500 mil and it was three pound 99 Okay, I also picked up these two little miniature candles, the, Wick, the Wickford and Co candles, uh, the small ones are only 59p, so I do always like to get these and just like place them around, uh, especially the white ones, because I just feel like they go with the decor in the house. Oh, that's a bit disappointing. It's um, crisp cotton and peony, and I was really excited. Like I said before, I love peony. Maybe when they're lit, they might smell better. Yeah, it's kind of like a dried up, baby wipe that's what it smells like just not good okay last i bought these two baskets well i got two of them they are just like your sort of woven basket i absolutely love this style at the minute anything that looks like this i tend to just buy it because i'm trying to change anything in the house that's not quite right into this style so um just up behind me i'm just gonna move the camera up 
just up there you can see these two pink boxes so when I first did my dressing room I wanted it to be sort of like grey and pink but now I don't really want it to be like that anymore I want it to be more of this like natural boho sort of style so I'm going to replace those two baskets up there with these two and I just thought they would look really nice and like go in with the aesthetic a little bit more so yeah they're just like a woven box they feel really sturdy really really good quality mine are in size large they had some smaller ones as well um, these were 4 99 each which £5 I do think is a good price because they do feel really solid and like they will last so well so yeah love them and can't wait to put them up that is everything that I picked up from Home Bargains I really hope you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it as that really helps out my channel and if you enjoy videos like this then definitely subscribe down below thank you so much for watching and hopefully I will see you in the next video bye